Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. wait for the perfect time to attack. Hey guys, it is the Raw Wrap-Up. I am Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on Twitter, and I am directly in studio literally i've not been back in studio a half an hour because i'm straight from uh doing some cool stuff and checking out the rock and roll hall of fame which confirmed does not have a hulk hogan rock and wrestling wing yes i got the right one uh but uh i'm ready to talk raw i saw the wonderful last 20 minutes of it i have questions and some people are going to set me straight because I was I was busy on the turnpike. Uh, but with us is the crew. First of all, he's the only one of us with a future endeavor letter from the WWE. He is from Poughkeepsie, New York. Mad Mike. Sword. Why? Why does WWE hate me? <laughs> it's a mixed relationship with you and WWE these days, isn't it? It really is. Like, oh, all right. But, I'll, 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 I'll rephrase. Why does Raw hate me? Right, it's not everything. You have a, you love to take over. The again, Raw is not for you, but it might be for our other other guests tonight. Also helping us, also from the P- Greater Pittsburgh area, uh, as well is Dave Podner of the Tiny Shutter Podcast and his ca- and his cat. His cat's here, of course. She, she always has to be here. Mm-hmm. She always has to be here. <laughs> awesome. So I, I guess we didn't really talk about how we're going to do this. Now, both of you did see the entirety of Raw, right? See. Okay. Yes. Are, are we going to do Two Truths and a Lie to, to recap here? Um. Okay. All right. I'll, I'll give Wait, you one. Give me, give, me, give me one, and then we can get into okay. it. I'll give you one. Two Truths and a Lie. Okay? You you're ready? I'm ready. All right. The Bella Twins are wrestling next week. Oh, I know that. I, I know that, actually. <laughs> God damn it! I saw the commercial for that one. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, yes, you know... truth. All right, fine, fine. I'm gonna do okay, it anyway because the gimmick is funnier. <laughs> Fact the first: the Bella Twins are returning to wrestle next week. Fact the second: Kevin Owens quit Raw. Fact the third: Ronda Rousey wrestled this week. I'm going to wait, wait, wait. Uh, two truths and a lie. Two truths and a lie. Mm-hmm. One of them is bullshit. I want to, I think the bullshit is that Ronda wrestled this week, knowing you. Of course, because she's fucking Brock Lesnar. <laughs> Metaphorically, she's not actually fucking Brock Lesnar. That's a oh, different. God, no, that's a, no, Mike, please, please, that's, please. That, that's a different blonde women's oh. champion oh. that barely had any moves and was dangerous in the ring. Right. Anyway. Oh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> Had to get that out. All right, I'm gonna go for Dave for this one. I'm gonna be a fighting champion. Fighting champion. She she didn't even flip over Elias. Wait, like, she didn't even give Elias like a, an arm drag takeover. Ronda encountered Elias tonight. In a manner, in passing, in, in passing. passing. It in was passing. more of a it was more of a Trish uh, encountering Elias. Okay, be- because you know nothing says. The woman's revolution, evolution, like mm-hmm. having the having elite and I'm, nothing against Alicia. She's gotten better, but she's not what I would consider. Let's put on a classic match. Mm-hmm. You know, crazy. Yes. Good at being crazy. Yes. But so we have Alicia. We have the Bella twins. We have uh, Trish and we have Mickey James having more screen time. Than Sasha and Bailey, so yep. So Trish is showing up more. I guess they were in Canada. Well, Trish, they were in Toronto. Toronto, yeah. yeah. Trish was there. Trish was there to basically have Elias try to mansplain, which <laughs> is really a great step for his career, guys. I told you, I told you last week. I'm telling you again. Elias, no matter how much we love him, he is fucked right now. Follow up on that. I I definitely walked. In Elias's footsteps today at the Hall of Fame, I figured out exactly where they were working on when he was doing that promo. Yes. Yes. Um, but yeah, Elias came out and he went to sing again. Then Trish came out and Elias said he's real excited for a Trish versus Alexa. It's like a bathing suit lingerie match. He's oh. really been looking forward to that. Oh. 
and then Trish slapped him in the face. Oh, okay. And then, All right. And then Ronda Rousey came out, and I'm like, oh, is Ronda going to be up Elias? That would be kind of fun. Nope. Nothing. All right. Well, Dave, what did what did you like about tonight's Raw? Uh, I like the um, Seth Kevin Owens match. Yep. As a match, it was good. They gave him a good, what, 25 minutes or so? What was the two commercial break? Yeah, yeah, that was a good long match, build up a good, told a story good. Mm-hmm. Even the post match finished good. Mm-hmm. I kept on waiting for Kevin to come back at the end, but yeah, because that that you're that, that's what normal. you're doing. What you're doing is you're writing a story. We all know how Raw feels well, yeah. writing stories. Yeah, mm-hmm. and then uh, he quit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. After getting beat without his best friend being there because his best friend being injured, mm-hmm. um, he just sat in the ring for the commercial break after his match and said, "I guys, I'm I quit." And he just walked out the building. Hmm. Yep. That that's how it ended. Interesting. Yeah. No. No. They had Baron Corbin say that he's going to talk to Kevin Owens and figure out what's going on. Okay. <laughs> But uh, with the shield running things, it's not going to matter anyway. Right, right. Uh, but I want, and I want to get more into the shield stuff in a, in a few moments. But in the meantime, um, how is Baron Corbin's first week as general manager? Um, he made a match that was already made. <laughs> oh, really? That we were supposed to not even expect as he was boasting he was going to blow everyone's minds with the match he was going to make. Yeah, that was the, that was the main event. Yeah. And yeah. he, he made a match that um, was already made for him. Okay. Uh, basically, the show opened up with Roman saying out, like, hey, uh, where's that big meat shack? So Braun <laughs> comes out. I was hoping for Shaq to come out. <laughs> I was hoping for actual Shaq uh-huh. to come out, but, you know, you can't always get what you want. No, um, or never. But, but Braun came out and said, Listen, I'm not cashing in tonight because your shield buddies are just going to interfere again, which is a valid point. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then Braun said, you know, what? I'm going to challenge a hell in a cell where your brothers can't get to you inside the cell, which we all know is bullshit. Mm-hmm. But but logically, at least makes sense. Oh, From a logic standpoint, Braun made sense what he did tonight. No, no, it would make sense if Braun just cashed in right well, now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, well, yeah, after the beatdown. Yeah. Yes, if he knew he was going yeah. to beat Roman down. Well, I was kind of half expecting that. It was after, and to kind of flip to the end, after all, uh, uh, during the tag match when Braun was tagged in and just stayed on the outside and watched Roman get beat down. And then Dolph, Braun, and uh, Drew just taking out each member of the Shield one by one, leaving them all left in the ring. Him looking down saying, hey, guess what, Roman? The cash-ins tonight. Mm-hmm. Yep. That, because if you want to make Braun heal, that's what you do. Yeah. That's a heel move. Mm-hmm. And then you can have a make, – make the rematch at Hell in the Cell. Yes, exactly. Ex- uh, but, but again, logic. We're writing, we're writing stories. Yeah. Um, by the way, I have a name. I have a name for the uh, for the triumvirate of Braun, Dolph, and Drew. What would you, would you guys care to hear it? Is it the? No, no, I don't have anything. Oh no, 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 no! G- give it, a, give it a go, give it a go, because you'll never guess what my name is for it. But when I say it, you'll be like, "Yep, that's totally right." The the. See. Good. Okay, let's say you're, you're. Were you going to say something like "Sanity on Raw"? Nope. <laughs> nope. Nope. Not at all. Sorg, do, do you have a guess? Um, the Monster Show Offs. No, no, that's not bad. But I think that's an Am Sandler movie. Mm. Uh, <laughs> no, uh, the the team of Braun, Drew McIntyre, and Dolph Ziggler shall now henceforth be known as Bacon Mac and Cheese. <laughs> bacon mac and cheese bacon mac and cheese now i'm hungry bacon mac and cheese oh yep. boy that is their name because you got braun who's a big old meat jack uh-huh. you got drew mac entire and dolph ziggler is cheesy as fuck 
<laughs> wait, 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 what do you mean Drew McIntyre is wait, wait, wait. Look early on, Sorg. Look at the glasses. Look at yes. the glasses so that, that Dolph wore tonight, too. Oh, I didn't take, yeah, I didn't take a peek at that. Sorry. Dolph Ziggler just doesn't know what yeah. he is. He doesn't know what he is anymore. Uh, but yeah, they they will henceforth be known as Bacon Mac and Cheese. Now and forever. Amen. Okay. Uh, God, what else happened on Raw? Oh, we had a forgettable um, uh, two-on-one uh, Bobby Lashley being down the Ascension match for no good reason. Yeah, whoop de do For the Ascension. Uh, what happened to Bobby Lashley and Elias? Did they just end that feud without a match? We had to watch that fucking shit for weeks, and nothing happened? Just disappeared them. <sighs> Well, no, they didn't disappear because they were both on fucking Raw. Anything else of note from tonight, guys? Um, the the revival beat the tag team champions again. Yeah, they they go hard mm. all day, some nights. Oh, and don't forget, coming up at the Super Slam Showdown in Australia, <laughs> the biggest match of the year, the most important match of the year. For the last time, we two old men try to make it to the ring without something breaking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there are a lot of video packages for Triple H. Oh, sir. man, I saw Shawn yeah. Michaels is going to pop up. They're, they're dusting him off to talk about this match. It's still over a month away. Mm -hmm. What the fuck are we doing? Try, they're, they're trying to sell those seats. Listen, listen, this time all the seats are not pre-sold like they were in Saudi Arabia. They still need to sell the show. In Australia. Book a better match. <laughs> you know what I want to see? If you're going to dust off The Undertaker again for a show in Australia, you know what I fucking want to see? The Dead Man versus The Demon. Mm -hmm. Because you're not doing anything with Finn Balor. By the way, Sorg, oh. guess, guess who Finn Balor had an match with again tonight? Just take a wild fucking shot in the dark. Baron again? Yes. He, he had a match with the GM. Yes. Wait, wait, and Mike, you're not getting to the best part. Oh, I, I figure I'd let you handle that. Okay. After the DQ, after uh, Baron hit Finn with the chair, he rolled out of the ring, and I called this. I call. I was watching this. I said to Ruthie, he's going to make this a no-DQ match halfway through. He said, oh, I'm so busy tonight, I forgot. It's a no-DQ match. Restart the match. Win in. Pin Balor, one, two, three. Yeah, I, I literally called this yeah. last week in my head as soon as Stephanie said, you're going to be interim Raw GM. There there was only two things Baron Corbin could have done this week. One is the bullshit he did, and two would be to give himself a universal title shot. <laughs> Those are the old, and plus, that's probably next week. All right, on that note... Um... Uh, we well, got some from the chat room. Anything else? I was say from, from the oh, chat room. Uh, Dana Brooke and Apollo Crews are apparently are flirting, and oh. Titus doesn't like it for reasons. Oh, oh, he doesn't add up. I don't know. Let me ask you guys one other thing too, uh, somewhat unrelated. Does anyone else have apparel which is specific towards the town they're in? Yes, uh, because I know. Brock had the suplex city with the different cities. I know the Shield tonight now had a Toronto shirt. Okay. Oh, yeah. They're, they're going to roll out Shield merch for every city they go to. Does um, anyone else have that? Like, does it say, like, Bauer Club? Uh, occasionally. Okay. Okay. Because I just noticed they're, that because they were all three wearing their yeah. Toronto shirts. Yeah. Sometimes if, if like, they're near someone's hometown, sometimes they'll release specialty shirts. Like, uh, Owens has a Canadian shirt that he can wear. Rollins has a an, um, uh, an Iowa shirt that he can wear occasionally. Um, Taker has a lot of specialized ones for when he shows up. Austin has a bunch of them. Like, you'll just be mm -hmm. town name 316. Oh, yeah, there's like a Pittsburgh 316. There's everything 316 out there, yeah. And yeah. technically, Elias has that because he has like six months of WWE tour dates on the back of his shirt. So. Yep, yep. All right, uh, from the chat room, uh, Brandon saying uh, Nikki Bella versus Rousey will happen. I keep telling you guys. I really think it's Stephanie yeah. versus Rousey. Stephanie versus Rousey. I mean, it mm -hmm. seems like it, right? Um, I don't I don't want that. No. I don't want Nikki versus Rousey either, but Stephanie versus Rousey makes 
all the fucking sense in the world. Uh, Cubby says, can Triple H take over yet? Gentle Jesus. Uh, <laughs> um, he's trying to take over with all those video packages. Let yes, he you. is. Apparently he is. Um, and uh, randomly, uh, when did when did Paige get a stomach tattoo? I, was Paige um, on tonight? I No, Paige wasn't there. I saw, I don't remember her having a, she, she, had, she has like a, a bot, not a well, stomach. She had a, but like she had a, a video on Paige had a video on Twitter announcing for SmackDown mm -hmm. for the t for the tag team three way tag t team match, but it kind of stopped, kind of like yeah from here up. I didn't see any. St I didn't see any stomach. Was yeah, really no, well, I know she, she's, she's had that. She's yeah, had she's that had that for a bit. Oh, okay. oh, well, guys, I did see Paige in person, like three feet from me. Well, Friday then why night. didn't you ask her retroactively, and Zorg? About her, about her, about her, about her. Hey, where'd you get that tattoo? <laughs> hey. <laughs> Uh, also, I watched I, I watched Paige's mother wrestle Friday night. As you should. That was strange. Well, I didn't realize until she came out. I'm just like, I'm like, that's Paige's mom, isn't it? And then Rob's like, yes, yes, it is. What, was The Rock there filming? The Rock was not there filming. There was no, <laughs> nothing of that uh, of deal. Although Paige did do a run in on a not WWE show. That was interesting. That was interesting. Um. Anyways, uh, so how much of Raw was watchable tonight? I mean, the I, I would say about ten of the twenty minutes that I saw. Oh, Sorg. Um. Cripes. Uh. Well, I'm gonna take out everything having to do with Dolph Ziggler. Okay. Uh, you know what? Just the length of the Corbin, uh, the the uh, Rollins and Owens match. Honestly, that's it. Okay. That's it. Okay. What, I, what I'm going to give it a little more than that because I honestly the, the build up in the very beginning had promise. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I, you kind of knew you knew where it was going, but it, it had, at least had some promise there. So I'm willing to say because that and like I said that there was a half hour stretch there for for the KO match um, and everything happening after and before and everything else, but. Um, Maybe an hour fifteen. Oof, that's stretching it. But yeah, maybe an hour fifteen. I'm yeah. I'm really happy that I'm going to check out the Hulu cut instead. <laughs> mm -hmm. Based on this, it's okay, Sorg. It's not like I'm ever going to have to watch this raw again. Nope. Nope. <laughs> nope. Definitely not. Definitely not really close. Like, oh man. But yeah, it was it, it's it was a rough sit this week. Yeah, it was a rough sit. Well, thank you guys. Thank you guys for filling in since I kind of popped in here a little late from my travels this weekend. Um, but uh, I want to give a shout uh, to our friends up at Premier Wrestling. Uh, I got to go hang out with them and and and, uh, and uh, check that out for the first time. I've been to a Waterweight, which is technically kind of Premier Wrestling, but uh, first time ever at a Premier show. And of course, after carrying them for a while on uh, on uh, IndieWrestling.us, it's really cool. Uh, thank you, uh, Mad Mike, Mad Mike four eight eight three on the Twitters. Absolutely, and um, my my live tweet of Lucha will be delayed this week. I'm not sure when I will be able to get to it because I'm going to see Harry Potter and the Cursed Child on Wednesday. Mm. And also, uh, Lucha Underground podcast will be coming out, uh, but the one from last week <laughs> we were going to record after this, actually. So keep an eye on your uh, probably about Tuesday morning and afternoon. Uh, look out for those new things along with this because it's probably not going up tonight if you're on the podcast, which if you're listening to this later, then I don't know why I'm telling you this now. Also, Dave Potter of the Tiny Shutter Podcast. Thanks for joining us. I no problem. Thanks for having me. You can find me at ProfPod and Twitter and Instagram, and we record uh, normally Thursday night at 930-ish, assuming we get technical things taken care of. Mm-hmm. Talking, and it's getting near the fun season for um, iPhone related things as everyone's assuming the new phone will be released or at least announced on September 12th. And we're all kind of looking at the, the tea leaves, trying to figure out what's going to happen. And, you know, if there's anything photography related, we can get interested in terms of new features and such. Yep. I, I'm enjoying my iPhone A plus and I was just listening to them kind of reading the tea leaves on some podcasts on the way uh, up here on the way back here tonight. So It'll be interesting to see what happens there. Uh, what can what can get me excited and sad that I just bought a phone uh, uh, just uh, uh, what about uh, six months ago? But anyways, 
Um, also, uh, tomorrow on the uh, on the Wrestling Mayhem Show at 9 p.m. Eastern Time on our Facebook Live for Wrestling Mayhem Show, we're going to have Joe Dombrowski. He's the announcer for Future of Honor, of Ring of Honor, and, of course, of Premier Championship Wrestling. And we've done one or two documentary projects with him over the years. Uh, he'll be joining us to chat about that. And we'll, we'll also chat with him for an Indie Mayhem Show about uh, the an- latest anniversary show and then still going strong with Premier Wrestling. Of course, when we, we talked to him a while ago when he started Premier Wrestling after his experiences with things like Prime and PWO over the years, uh, we asked, why, Joe, why? Now we're going to say, how you doing <laughs> with it <laughs> this far in? So looking forward to that. Also, we did just launch today something really special, IndieWrestling.us Network. Go to IndieWrestling.us and check out a link over there where you have things like Premier Championship Wrestling, Rise Wrestling with a Y, and uh, the old Pro Wrestling Ohio episodes, uh, um, Prime Wrestling uh, uh, specials, as well as we're going to have some Black Diamond Wrestling. And the the Duke and Doe's Hardcore Memories, where Duke Davis and Shirley Doe talk ECW, uh, including a story in their uh, uh, personal experience that Shirley Doe has, including having matches with uh, with uh, uh, the Sandman himself, and I'm sure we're going to get plenty of those as we proceed with that series. Go check it out. Free trial over there at IndieWrestling.us and, uh, and check out some new stuff. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. We'll see you guys next time. Until then, keep it raw. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network.